All right, so here we have the uh, new Brother Javi Tornado T1, uh, 2205, 2500 KV, although it says uh, full right there, uh, F-U-L-L, -L. doesn't say T1, so I don't know if they're going with a different uh, series, uh, a different name for, uh, for this series of motors, but it certainly looks like a like the Tornado T1s, so I'm just gonna call it Tornado T1, uh, even though it says full right there. Uh, so it took apart took apart the motor. Uh, it, they used this uh, this uh, circ clips. Uh, they're pretty pretty difficult to remove. Uh, I usually just use uh, two pointy two pointy uh, screwdrivers and I just kind of like pry them apart like that and f force it out sometimes that that actually breaks breaks the the circ clip so you have to replace it uh, you, you know you better make sure you have uh, replacements they sell they sell this at Banggood uh, pretty cheap you get a box uh, a bag of I forget if it's 10 or 50 for like a dollar or less than a dollar so I got him somewhere uh, uh, so anyway uh, looking at the motor uh, one of the things to notice is the uh, the magnets uh, these are pretty chunky magnets and the um, the gap between the magnets it's this is one of the tightest one of the tightest uh, uh, magnet packaging I've seen uh, there's almost no gap right there between adjacent magnets so that's uh, that should help a lot with uh, torque of the motor uh, pretty pretty beefy pretty beefy magnets and I'm not quite sure what they're using but for sure something like N52 or higher so, so I'm sure those are pretty powerful ma magnets uh, the shaft uh, motor shaft is uh, three millimeter so Right there, three millimeter, uh, and it's not hollow. Uh, neither is the uh, the prop shaft. The integrated prop shaft is just uh, standard. So, but you know that that works pretty well. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, the laminations on the on the uh, stator seem to be uh, they seem to be 0.15. 0.15 millimeters. I don't have the equipment to measure it, so I'm just going by uh, eyeballing it from what I've seen in other motors. So uh, one of the things I have done is I I try to count them and then you know divide by the height of by the nominal height of the stator. So then you you get the, the thickness of the lamination, but uh, they're hard to count too. You know they're so small. Uh, but they do look like 0.15 or so. But I'm sure they'll they'll release uh, specs uh, on the website uh, as these motors get uh, go for sale. Uh, windings, the wire for the windings, they're single strand wire. Uh, looks like a pretty beefy wire too. Uh, bearings, I don't can't seem to see. Uh, brands on the bearings. Uh, the previous, the other motor I I, I just recently tested, uh, they used pretty good ESO bearings. So I, I'm not sure what these are, but uh, as far as I know, the Brother Hobby bearings uh, have been pretty good. Uh, I don't think that many people are complaining about bearings. So, so I'm sure these are equally good bearings. Uh, so now let's see what this weighs. Uh, it's got, it does have the uh, these connectors attached, so I'm just gonna let them rest here on the, the table. So let's see what the weight is for this motor. Uh, it's about about thirty about thirty grams. It's about thirty grams for the motor, so. Uh, pretty, pretty standard for uh, for this size motor. Uh, 
about 29, 29.5 grams or so. So that's that's pretty standard. So, uh, uh, well, that's a, a overview of the motor. So now let's see what this uh, what this puppy can do on the truss stand. So that's coming up next.